Microsoft's Team Foundation Server, in conjunction with Microsoft Test Manager, is an excellent means of managing your test assets. With the version control, project management, and CI-CD features of TFS, along with MTM's test case management and lab management functions. Now, bring Logigear's Test Architect Enterprise Edition into the mix, or Test Architect Professional for Visual Studio, and you have an ideal cross-platform, continuous automated testing solution, with support for a full range of desktop, web, and mobile applications. One that offers action-based tests and test assets that can be easily read and understood across the organization, by management, QA, business analysts, and developers, tests which are highly maintainable by testers and automation engineers, and tests that can be exchanged with MTM, managed in MTM, and run from MTM. And note, Test Architect integration brings you all these features, regardless of whether your TFS server is on-premise or cloud-based. All of this helps to ensure that the integration of your software development and tests is matched by a new level of integration and communication across organizational teams. An essential part of TATFS synergy is the ability to exchange and link tests between the two systems. Let's start by importing TFS tests into Test Architect. Here in MTM, we have set up a team project with a set of several test cases organized into a hierarchy of test suites. Now we can certainly import individual test cases, but TA also allows for MTM test suites to be imported recursively. After importation, the entire tree structure, from whatever level you import it at, is recreated within TA. A test suite in TFS is imported as a TA test module or test folder, which one, depends on whether the imported test suite holds test cases or other test suites. And of course, a TFS test case is imported as a test architect test case. Let's look at one test case in MCM. The test case valid login tests whether a user, who enters a correct name and password, is successfully logged in. It consists of three human-readable steps, including one expected result. The imported version of valid login in TA displays the same steps commented out. Now. An automation engineer can go ahead and automate this test case using TA's action-based language, which is readable by just about anyone in your organization, even management, and in this case, not so very different from the original TFS steps. Here is a more typical test case in TA, one that is characteristic of the action-based test approach that is embodied in Test Architect's design. It offers application logic at the business rule level, without delving into the technical minutiae of low-level interface code. The action lines it contains are readily comprehensible to anyone. And from a functional standpoint, each takes the form of a call to a user-defined action. These user-defined actions act as containers for the system-level automation logic, with code that need only be seen, created, and maintained by your automation specialists. We can now upload this test case. And what you end up with is a TFS test case with the essential business logic, without the encumbrance of system-specific details. Automated tests are always run under Test Architect automation. But with TFS MTM integration, you have three options when it comes to launching your tests. From the online, interactive standpoint, you can direct the execution of test runs from either Test Architect or from Microsoft Test Manager. Finally, you also have the option of scheduling the automatic launching of test runs in what's called unattended execution, just what's needed to set up a continuous testing workflow environment. Execution from TA is performed in the normal fashion. Here, we'll execute all the test cases of the test module, calculation tests. Test results can be provided to Microsoft Test Manager in two possible forms. First, you can have the results sent directly to the MTM application in a form that allows MTM to manage and display those results. The second option is to store the results in an HTML file, providing the link to MTM. As a convenience, you can also limit which test cases in MTM have the HTML results linked to them, based on their respective MTM test outcomes. 
Clicking Execute launches the test run in Test Architect, and upon its conclusion, the summary results are displayed in TA, and are also immediately available in MTM, along with an overview of the results by outcome, a list of the executed test cases grouped by outcome, and a link to the HTML results for selected test cases, based on the previously established settings. The HTML result file provides both summary and detailed information, including a full execution log for the test run. Whenever you upload or import tests between TA and MTM, a link is established between the corresponding test cases in the two systems. Thanks to these links, it's just as easy to launch a test from MTM as it is from TA. And you can do it from the level of a test suite or a single test case. And based on pre-established settings, the results are once again directed back to MTM. You've seen how you have the option of launching your automated test manually from either Test Architect Client or Microsoft Test Manager. In addition to that, the launching of TA test cases can also be triggered under the direction of Team Foundation Server, thus allowing for the unattended execution of automated tests. That capability, combined with Test Architect's ability to automatically report results to MTM, offers you the opportunity to stage a continuous testing flow, paving the way for the implementation of a fully functional continuous integration environment.